If someone comes to me and they're not in that, if they're not a life coach that's certified by the life coach school and wants to build a coaching business, then I'm, I'm automatically kind of like, eh, I don't even know. Like, I don't even really like to get on the phone with them because they're just more all over the place. You know, whereas I get on the phone with some of those coaches, they're like, boom, they know what they need and I know what they need. And we're just talking the same language. And then it's more about the positioning before the call, like it just because of like my reputation. So anyway, I just, I use go wide, go deep. And I just kind of talk about what is success look like? What do you, you know, what do you want to achieve? Um, and then, and then if, if they're a good fit and usually it's just a matter of budget, right? Like yeah. as long as they're not scraping pennies, then yeah. they're willing to pay for it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll go write up a proposal or now I write up a statement of work <laughs> and then I send it to him. And I mean, one of the gals that I talked to just last week, like we're already, we've had our planning call, you know, we've, we're ready to go. So yeah, I guess that's what it is for me. It's more that it, the people that I talk to are so specific that um, it just helps the language to be really consistent. So a little bit of context for those who haven't done the blueprint. I think there might be a couple of you here. Uh, the go wide, go deep is kind of like a, it was the first version of a strategy session, really. It's like kind of like a hybrid between a triage and a strategy call. Um, it's like a discovery call, uh, but super scripted, you know, pretty tight um, format. Um, uh, the reason that I like, now the reason that I like doing the two prong approach, the triage and then the strategy. And this is, and I did this on, I did this on Monday. I had a triage call with a guy in Melbourne. I had a strategy call with a guy in New Zealand and the guy in New Zealand, the reason I had a strategy call with him is because he'd qualified himself so much already just over messenger chat. He was just like chomping at the bit. And so I've, I knew that I'd kind of already triaged him. He'd already qualified himself in terms of budget and the size of his team and what he was doing and he's a perfect fit. So we just jumped straight into a strategy call. Whereas the other guy in Melbourne, I wasn't sure. So I put him through a, a triage call. I've got a strategy call with him next Wednesday. The reason I like the two prong approach is because it just gives you two opportunities to build trust. It's like dating. The first date is just like the triage call is just like checking, it, checking each other out at the bar. Maybe you kind of bump elbows while you're ordering a drink at the bar and you kind of exchange a glance and you're like, well, yeah, you know, you're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. And maybe there's something here. Maybe there's not, I don't know. Maybe this is a thing who knows. And then the strategy session is, well, you know, at the end of the night, you've kind of locked eyes a few times. And as the bar's closing on the way out, you're like, maybe we should like come here again next week and have another drink and maybe talk to each other. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Cool. All right. So that's the strategy session. It's just another opportunity to prove to them that you're not a lunatic and also for them to prove to you that they're not a lunatic and they're not going to completely derail your business if you take them on as a client. Because we've all had that happen, right?